Hi guys, it's Mark Cantor from South Florida Intervention. I wanted to do a video and check in, tell you guys what I'm up to. It's been about a week since I did my last video. I think I did it from the gym, uh, but today I'm in New Haven, Connecticut. I'm actually up uh, near Yale. I, I think behind me is the campus to Yale, I'm not sure. Anyway, the reason I'm up here is I brought a, a young man uh, here today from South Florida to a program called TermBridge. It's a program that I was introduced to I guess about six or eight months ago, I guess the end of last year, and I was really impressed with. And when I met this family and heard a little bit about this young man, I thought this would be a great program. It's at least a 90-day program. It's not a treatment program per se, though I think that everybody that's there is there because there is some element of, of addiction, some substance abuse. Um, but it's more of an education program or a life program. I think it's really great. I was super impressed with it. I wanted to bring this young man up there. Um, I told him, you know, I said, you, you had a great day. Actually, we started this morning. I got up at about 4.30 this morning in South Florida. I picked him up about 5.15. We got on the plane at 7. We landed at LaGuardia at 9.30, which is a mess. LaGuardia is a mess. We got the car. We had to do a COVID test before I brought him in, which is something that's new, uh, a new protocol for for people coming into treatment. Uh, Turnbridge required that we go to an urgent care center and do a rapid uh, COVID test, which we did. And it actually didn't take too long. We, the whole process was about an hour and a half. We had anticipated it would be longer. So this was actually pretty good. And then we came up here to New Haven and I spent some time with him during admissions. And I said to him, I said, you know, I'm really envious of you going to this program. I would have loved to have been in this program when I was when I was your age, uh, you know, for me, for me, you know, I, I before I ever found drugs and alcohol, I really I struggled in school a lot. I had a terrible attention deficit disorder, which ultimately led to my addiction to Ritalin, Ritalin, Adderall, amphetamines, that kind of thing. But school for me was really hard, and um, I didn't do well, and I, and I needed this kind of one-on-one -on -one attention. Uh, something like this would have been great. I don't think something like this was really around back then, but you know, I, I don't know. So anyway, this is a great kid. I think he's going to do really well in this program. I'm really excited for him. I mean, sometimes people, we bring people to treatment and the insurance company dictates where they're going to go to treatment. We just don't have a choice. We just don't have a, a, an open pocketbook to, to be able to find the best treatment and we, we make the best out of what we can with insurance. This is not the case here. This is a situation where the family could afford to send their son to the most appropriate to the best treatment program, and we picked Turnbridge. And, um, and I think he's gonna do really well here. I'm really excited for him. And I'll head back down to South Florida tomorrow afternoon, and, and next week I'll spend a little time on one-on-one one -on -one with the family and kind of get them rolling as well. So anyway, just a short video. I just wanted to check in. Um, one thing I have been doing that is a little bit different is I've changed my diet uh, about two weeks ago. I've removed most animal protein from my diet. And I am feeling better. I, I did it be initially because I was, I was starting to gain some weight and I couldn't take it off. It just, just wasn't coming off. So I, so I just tried this vegan option, really more vegetables, more fruits, things like that. And it really seems to be working, but I feel good, I feel strong. I've been doing a little bit of reading about it. Uh, so far I like it, I'll report back about how it's going in the future. Um, but, um, but so far so good. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Just a short video today, I'm a little bit tired. Like I said, I was up at 4.30 in the morning, so I didn't get, uh, so I certainly have a good night's sleep tonight. I'm going to work out now at the hotel, get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow I'm going to look at another treatment center and then head into New York City. So it's actually interesting to be in New York during, during uh, COVID, or I guess the, the, what I hope is the tail end of it. But things are quiet. It was really weird being at LaGuardia Airport and having almost no one there. It was a ghost town, really strange. But I was perfectly comfortable flying. It's my first time flying in the last five months. Anyway, I'm going on and on. I just wanted to check in and say what I'm up to and say hello, and this is it. So 
I will try to get some more content. I'll try, maybe I'll try to get another video out tomorrow. I'll, I'll get a good night's sleep. I'll stay focused, and we'll get a little, you know, maybe a little more focused video out tomorrow night. But anyway, I just wanted to be in touch, and I hope you're doing well. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that uh, on the space below the video on YouTube, and I would certainly love to get to to answer some of them. Thanks. Bye bye.